Hello, my name is Greg Global, District Chief with the Orlando International Airport Fire Rescue. We're up here doing our final inspection on our 2024 Rosenbauer Panther 6x6. This truck will complete our frontline fleet as all Rosenbauer with three being the original Panther models and two being the new style as this one. If you come with me for a minute, we'll go around and see a few of the features of the truck. This truck is a dual agent truck. What we have selected to go with is Purple K and foam. We will be running F3 foam in this truck as it is fully compatible, as well as those who are currently still using AFFF. In the under tank compartment, we have just a simple inch and three quarter pre-connect with a rollout storage tray. Moving down the side of the truck, there's a small storage box here. And in between the wheel wells, is a storage box that one of my uh, co-workers, Mr. Maldonado, who has since passed, designed. This was originally designed to hold just SCBA bottles. We've had this enlarged to hold an extinguisher of your choice, as well as two SCBA bottles. The rear of the truck has much improved storage, as well as access to the engine and maintenance compartments. This platform has plenty of capacity for two people to stand on as well as removable access panels to get to the engine and engine components. The rear of the truck on this side, um, compartment mirrors the other side with good access and good storage. There are a lot of storage options you can look at from vertical tool bores to multiple shelves to rollouts. Um, we chose to keep it simple just with some flat vertical storage because we do not usually store a lot of equipment back here. In our under tank compartment, we have a single one inch, 150 foot, foam and water line. Um, just again, trying to keep simplicity and continuity within our fleet. As I said, this is a Purple K truck. So we do have uh, another one inch reel, 150 feet, that will discharge Purple K. Does have the smoothbore Purple K nozzle on it as well. Coming around to the front of the truck, we opted for the RM35 HVLA turret to give us some increased flow, as well as versatility in extinguishment. We did decide to plumb our Purple K to the bumper turret. Uh, gives a little more access for fighting a running fuel fire and get down a little lower to the ground versus having it come out of the roof. The FLIR however, we did mount on the roof to uh, give a little wider range of view. On the roof, we have a pair of 20K LED lights. Uh, these things are a definite game changer for driving around the airfields at night. It really does turn night into day for us. On this truck, we also opted for dual flip-up screens, one on the driver's side, one on the officer's side. These will display the 360-degree camera system as well as the FLIR camera system. We opted to go with the 360-degree camera system versus just a standard backup camera, as this is gonna be a single operator truck, gives the operator a little more margin of error and safety when maneuvering in tight areas. In the rear of the cab, we've put a fourth seat for extra personnel as well as to assist with driver proficiency that everybody's dealing with now. We also installed a large storage box. This will hold EMS equipment, anything that needs a charger. It has a 110 outlet that's run off an inverter. This truck does not have a generator as the LED light pack does not require that. And we have multiple other trucks on the field with generator systems. So it simplifies and saves you a good chunk of money. With the new display on the Panther, you can see any warning lights that are on. These warning lights will show us if we have a ladder down, such as in the rear here, passenger door open. We have the HVLA down right now, as well as the roof turret activated. It's gonna give the driver a notification and an enhanced uh, bit of safety for their operation of the truck. And to finish up the interior of the truck, we had Rosenbauer build us a nice radio box. Keeps our radio securely mounted, all our wiring protected. Uh, we also had a setcom system placed in here. Two headsets, one for the engineer, one for the officer. Those are controlled with the boxes that are mounted here for the driver and here for the officer. All right, again, thanks for coming along with me on a quick tour of our new Rosenbauer Panther. Uh, we are super excited. It's been a great build process as usual with Rosenbauer, and uh, we can't wait to get this back in service in sunny Florida. Thanks. Have a great day.